the last session, we tried to understand the importance, greatness and beauty of the dance. In doing so, we tried to analyze one of the classical dance styles in India, that is Bharatanatyam. After the auspicious beginning, we saw a few series of adavus or basic dance units. You must remember that we are still in the realm of dritta or pure dance, which conveys no meaning or sentiment, but aesthetically beautiful. We were also discussing hand gestures, hastas or mudras, which formed part, that is the decorative part of the adavu. Ancient texts like the Natya Shastra and others speak of the hand gestures, but the numbers vary. Nandikeshwara's Abhinaya Dharpana is very popular today. And Abhinaya Dharpana speaks of 28 single hand gestures or Asamyuta Hastas. Pataka, Tripataka, Ardha Pataka, Kartari Mukha, Mayur, Ardha Chandra, Arala, Shukatunda, Mushti, Shikara, Kapitta, Katakamukha, Suchi, Chandrakala, Padmakosha, Sarpashirsha, Brigashirsha, Simha Mukha, Kangula, Alapadma, Chatura, Brahmara, Hamsasya, Hamsapaksha, Sandamsha, Mukula, Tamrachuda, Trishul. These gestures, as you might have noticed in the Adavus, are merely decorative. Maybe later we will see what each one can convey. Before we go into the Adavu series, you must know that there are eight major divisions, each with a number of Adavus. Tattadavu, Nattadavu, Meetadavu, Mettadavu, Kuttadavu, Mandiadavu, Jerkadavu and Paidaladavu. You have already seen five of them. We have grouped some of the adavus according to the drum syllables and also included adavus that are in practice today. Back to the adavu series. Tangad tattat din in the beats of six. Tangad tattat din. Under this we will begin with the mandi adavu. It is one of the most complicated adavus in Bharatanatyam, most difficult to perform. We have used a convenient speed, but during practice, it is done in three speeds. One and two and tangada tatta din na tangada tatta din na tangada tatta din tangada tatta din na tangada tatta din na tangada tatta din na tangada tatta din na tangada tatta din na. We continue with the mandiyadavu but a little more complicated. One and two and Tangad Tatta Dinna 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 under this, we have the Utplita or the Pai Chalada, the famous jumps. One and two and Tangad Tatta Din, 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 Tangad Tatta Din. Another variety of the Utplita, 
this time covering the stage. One and two and Tangad Tatta Dinna 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 The same Tangad Tatta Dinna but we have the circle or the jakkadu. It is also called the peacockadu. One and two and tongue the tatta dinna, tongue the tatta dinna, tongue the tatta dinna, tongue the tatta dinna. They yum tatta, they yum ta, 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 tatta, tatta, ding in that book. Now we have the leg thrusting adu one and two and tongue de tatta dinna 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 you must know that all these adavus have what is called an impulse of the movement, that is, the takeoff. Once this is mastered, the dancers acquire a quality of grace which is fluid and at the same time powerful in execution. And the movements lose the jerkiness and are more pleasing visually. Tai Tai Datta. Here we have the Kartari Adavu. So named maybe because the hand gesture is Kartari Mukha and the legs also cross. See the graceful jump and the consequent bend. One and two and they say that the 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 they the same tai tai datta but a different adavu. Notice the, the beautiful oblique lines as the arms stretch. One and two and tai tai datta 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 tai ya tai yi gliding adu. The legs slide on the floor. There is a swing of the body. The leg can also be placed but the slide of the body is essential. One and two and tai ya tai ye 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 May Adam, a beautiful series, usually incorporated in the Jatiswaram, end of a Varnam, or beginning of a Tilana. You will see that later. One and two and Takadimi, Takajanu, Takadimi, Takajanu. being performed to what is called as the universal rhythm. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, takka dimmi, takka dimmi. And of course you had the tangra tatta dinner. But let me hasten to add 
that all these adavus can be performed to various beats of 3, 5, 7 and 9 with their permutation and combinations. So also the may adavu. And now we have the tattu mettu adavu. Tattu, the striking and mettu, the placing. And this you will see in the beats of 4, 3, 7, 5 and 9. One and two and tuck a dimmy, tuck a dimmy, tuck it, tuck it, tuck a tuck it, tuck a tuck it, tuck a dimmy, tuck it, tuck a dimmy, tuck it, tuck a dimmy, tuck a tuck it, tuck a dimmy, tuck a tuck it. Nadi, the walk. Nadi also is the different kind of rhythm the panchanade that you saw in the tattu metto, which you will see here also. The varieties of walks are used in dance to enhance the beauty of the dance number. One and two and takka dimmi, takka jannu, takka dimmi, takka jannu, takka dimmi, takka jannu, takka dimmi, takka jannu, takkita, 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 Angashuddha, purity of the gesture, is an important factor in the execution of the adavus to bring out the purity of the line and beauty of the movement. You must have noticed the various imaginary lines, squares, circles and arcs in the performing of the adavus. It is no wonder then Bharatanatyam is said to be geometrical. While doing the adavus, the face does not register any emotion, but there is a pleasant expression. In other words, in the nritta or pure dance, the face conveys no emotion. The eyes follow the hand to give an involvement in the movement. We shall see a demonstration where the eyes do not follow the movement. Then maybe you will understand the difference. <laughs> maybe we should see one where the eyes do follow the hand movements we have just about gathered all the adavus now we have to combine and see what kind of pictures they paint as they appear as dance numbers on the stage. A combination of the adavus is called the korve, that is to weave. Weave aesthetically beautiful patterns to a given time cycle or thala. This is in the hands of the choreographer. The various adavus are performed with slight variations by the different schools of Bharatanatyam. But the basic principles are the same. A Bharatanatyam recital consists of what is called as a marga with a set of 10 or 14 items beginning with the invocatory number and ending with the tilana. It is this that we shall analyze in our sessions and try and understand what they stand for. Originally, a Bharatanatyam recital began with the Mela Prapti, followed by the Todya Mangalam, Sabhavandanam, and the Alaripu. Today, Todya Mangalam and Pushpanjali are very popular. Ancient texts like the Natya Shastra and Bharatanava and others explain the word Pushpanjali, 
offering of the flowers. The dancer enters and moves around the stage with flowers in her hands before she offers it. Today, we shall begin with the Alaripu. That which blossoms and gives joy is the meaning of the very word. No wonder then, it is the opening number. Alaripu usually begins with the Anjali Hasta above the head, followed by the neck movements, the shoulder movements, and then the whole body before the final salutation. It is a simple dance set to an equally simple rhythm, a kind of a warm-up or limbering as it were in anticipation of the more complicated to come. There are as many varieties of opening numbers as there are dancers, but the main idea is salutation to the Almighty, the gods, the gurus and the audience. Today's Alaripu is in the beats of three, Tisram. One, two, three, one, two, three. You will see some of the Adavus, the Mandi Adavu, the Tattaitaha Adavu, the Taidite Adavu, the Taitaidite Adavu. Usually an Alaripu begins with the Tattakara, that is Ta, Tei, Tei, Yu, Ta, Kam, Kitataka. costume, 
and the line. Until next time.